My friends, I wanted to see what's coming towards you this week. I wanted to do a week reading. I said that I was going to do that or I mentioned doing one yesterday and a lot of you were excited by that. So let's see what's coming towards you in love for the next week. Whenever you're finding this, whenever you're seeing it. Um, let's have a look what's coming in in one week's time. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, we have communication coming in right away. Um, so this is a week reading. So this is supposed to be good for a week, um, a week from when you find it. So we have self-improve, personal development, prioritizing self. So if you are someone who's very focused on self, have been prioritizing yourself, and you, you know, you feel connected to someone and you feel like there's, you know, going to be communication, they're going to reach out, um, this could be your message. Especially if you've really mastered, you know, self-worth and self-love and um, been through a lot of growth. We have authentic being your true self, real and genuine. So it feels like because you are finding self-love, being your authentic self, you are attracting this in. Um, we do have stubborn, strong-willed, headstrong. So I feel like someone that you've been dealing with who is stubborn, headstrong, maybe like, you know, very slow to communicate with you again you know maybe this is someone who kind of left you on red doesn't have to be um, we have them reaching out this week so we have connection kindred soul soulmate emotional relationship and talk communicate discuss reach out so to me the energy that I'm seeing is that you've been very focused on self-improvement being your authentic self Maybe even for some of you getting your authentic self, your authentic voice out there. And you've got <clears throat> someone very stubborn coming towards you wanting to talk. It could be too that you've been, you know, stubborn about, you could have been st stubborn about letting this connection go. Like maybe people told you, you're still thinking about that person. Um, but it feels like you have a very special connection with this person. You could resonate as soulmates. I was hearing counterparts even because we have this, you know, very special connection here with this card. Anyway, we have them reaching out. Um, very interesting. It feels like whatever was going on in this connection, it was outside of your control. So I don't think that, I think that it needed to be... I think there needed to be possibly separation or silence. I don't think it was, I'm seeing it was external circumstances outside of your control. All right, so let's keep going. I'm actually going to get a different, a different deck to get a few more. So Spirit, show me what's coming in love this week towards this collective. We've got communication. Oh my. Yep. Something that's been delayed, something, someone you're in separation with, there's been a delay. This delay is being, this blockage is being removed. This delay is over. Um, we have change and butterfly. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Um, butterfly, transformation, glow up, beautiful change. So you could have been, you know, I'm seeing two energies. I'm seeing you glowing up, transforming, and this person also changing and transforming because your transformation, I'm hearing ripple effect. I'm hearing, you know, when you transformed, you set off a ripple effect that affected this person. And we have two about cycles and transformation. So that's beautiful. Transformation, beautiful change. Not just any type of change. Beautiful change is coming towards you in the next week. Let's just get two more. And then we'll get tarot to confirm. Situationship. Vibration. So you and this person are coming into a vibrational alignment. Vibrational alignment is what I'm hearing. 444 on the timer. Romance. Fairy tale love. We have a complicated in reverse. So a situation that was complicated, uncomplicating. I'm hearing... Um, 
Interesting. I'm hearing, I'm seeing the moon in reverse. So something coming to light and we have situationship. So if you resonate with being in a situationship with someone, um, you have huge change. You have this person communicating with you this week and we see a beautiful change happening between the two of you. So let's get some tarot to confirm. What tarot deck do I want to use? Hmm, I'm being called to this one. I haven't used this one in a while. When I did personal readings, when I did personal readings, I would use this deck so much. Um, oh my goodness, we have nine of wands. So something that you've been holding out hope for, something you've been fighting for, something that you've been resilient about um, is coming in. This is the final push, nine of wands. Don't give up now, I'm hearing. And we have the Hierophant. So spiritual growth here. So this is the next week. What's coming in this week? What is coming towards this collective in the next week? The emperor. Just, just an emperor. <laughs> just a little emperor. Remember that talk card. Someone reaching out. Someone making a move. Someone who's been stubborn. Emperor. <laughs> that is amazing. And we have the Ten of Cups. So we have forward movement in a ten, ten of Cups situation. We have the Emperor Aries taking action towards you. It doesn't have to be Aries. I thought I'd try and start mentioning the signs because I used to be really good about it and then I got really bad about it. Um, so we have Water Signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, take it as it resonates, but we have someone taking action towards you wanting this Ten of Cups. We've also got the Three of Wands here. So forward movement, progression, could be travel for some of you. Um, tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. <laughs> tell me more about this Emperor. We've got the Five of Cups in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse. And the Star... So this is someone who, you know, hasn't given up hope. I feel like hope, this is wish fulfillment. And I feel like your hope is going to be renewed. This is amazing energy. Oh my goodness. We have five of cups. I almost didn't do this reading. Um, very interesting. I thought I was done. And I even texted my partner and said, I'm done. So I'll come down and make supper for the kids soon. And then just as I was like putting away all my stuff, I was like, do it this week reading. Well, my guides were saying it, not me. Um, but we've got four of cups in reverse as well, which is a new outlook on this situation. You're going to have a whole new outlook on the situation. And the four of cups in reverse is also someone being more active in love. So this person taking action towards you, especially if this is someone in the past who held back from you, that situationship card, it could have been that this person was quite inconsistent with their energy, with their time, their attention. And this is someone being more active in love. Five of Cups in reverse is healing those old wounds so that you can move forward. You know, this person is no longer like licking their wounds and feeling bad for themselves. They're coming in. Um, I'm not quite sure why I'm hearing this, but I just heard the grass wasn't greener. Don't know why I heard that. Take it as it resonates. Um, that doesn't have to mean that they went to another person. But it's like the energy, the grass wasn't greener where I, like where I ended up. Um, anyway, very interesting. I'm hearing reconnection. Let's just get a few more this week. What the, what? What? <laughs> My friends, <clears throat> this is interesting. So we do have a celebration coming in, celebration Union, marriage, engagement, take it as it resonates, something to celebrate. It's really funny because as I'm holding up this card, I'm hearing the song, let's give them something to talk about. Um, so that is really interesting because it feels like people are going to be talking about whatever this is. Amazing. Oh my gosh. Well then, I was not expecting this from this little reading that I was going to do. Let's just get a few more. I'll just go to a next part. All right, let's get just two more for what's coming in this week. We have the fool. My friend, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm going to get one more. We have queen of cups on the bottom. So someone taking a leap of faith towards a queen of cups, perhaps. 
We have water signs. <clears throat> we did have Taurus energy with the Hierophant. Have I seen any other Earth signs? Not yet, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, <clears throat> I have seen all the other signs. Queen of Cups on the bottom. So a love offer, a generous offer of love, someone following their intuition. One more. The Eight of Wands. I, all right then. <laughs> I mean, how much confirmation do you want for what's coming in this week? Like forward movement, rapid change, rapid growth, communication, um, love messages, messages back and forth between you and this person. Look, just like let's just do a recap. Let's just do a recap. Eight of Wands, the Fool, New Beginning, Four of Wands, Union, Celebration, the Star, Wish Fulfillment. Five of Cups in reverse, healing from past wounds, getting over those past wounds with this person and moving forward. New outlook about this connection. This person all of a sudden putting in more effort. <clears throat> we have an emperor taking action towards you, wanting this Ten of Cups, wanting like happy families, I'm hearing. That is beautiful. And I just I just almost can't believe it. Let's get a moon card. <laughs> Maybe it's you that I'm I feel like it's your energy that I'm feeling that like I don't know if I can believe this. <laughs> anyway, that's amazing. You could be a Taurus. I just got a Taurus drop down. We have conclusions are within reach. Like in a week. <laughs> Work through your fears. Just as I was talking about, I'm feeling fear. Like this is almost too good to be true. It's not. It's not. <laughs> anyway, that's beautiful. Look at the bigger picture. Let's just get one more. Let's get one more. One more. <clears throat> you, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. A win-win outcome is forecast. And emotions are running high. It's really interesting because the whole time I've been doing this reading, I I know it's backwards to you, but I've been staring at this fresh start, fresh start, fresh start. It's just been like, it's like it's glowing at me. Um, so that's really interesting, my friends. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you lots of love and light. And remember me. <laughs> In two weeks, when you don't need me anymore, think of me fondly. <laughs> and best of luck to you, my friends. Sending you lots of love and light, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.